Hey, this is Manny Fresh with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to record your iPhone screen using QuickTime. So if you have QuickTime on your Mac, which usually is already there by default, it has three features that you could use. And one of those is to be able to record the screen on your iPhone while you use it. And this is helpful if you're trying to make videos or record something specific from your iPhone. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Finder, Applications, and then just look for QuickTime and double click. So when you double click QuickTime, it doesn't really do anything, but you will get here on the top menu, the options for QuickTime. So what you want to do is you want to go to file. Now, before you go to the next step, the first thing you need to do is connect your iPhone with a lightning cable to your computer or your MacBook. And sometimes if you have a third party cable, maybe you purchase it on eBay or it's a cheap cable, it may not work. So I suggest using the original lightning cable or a good lightning cable that, that works. So once you plug it in, make sure you go in your phone and you trust the computer because if you don't, it might not work. So go ahead and trust the, the computer once you connect the phone to your MacBook. And now you can go ahead and go to the next step, which is go to file. And then you're going to see three options here in the beginning. Right now I'm using the screen recording. The screen recording is to record your screen on your Mac. Audio is just for that. And then what you want to do is you want to do the new movie recording. Now for some users, if you have a message here saying that I, uh, QuickTime does not have access to your camera. What you want to do is you want to go to settings, system preference, and then you go over to security T and privacy, go over to camera and make sure this is selected. Then QuickTime is going to restart and then all you got to do is reopen it. So once you did that, what you want to do is you want to click on the drop down menu here and you hold it. And then you have the option here as iPhone. So once you connect your iPhone, you're going to see this option in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to take a few moments to load. And there it is. So now my iPhone screen is showing on QuickTime. And as I press and move around on the phone, it appears in QuickTime too. So basically that's how you record your screen. Uh, well, the last step is to go ahead and hit record and it'll start recording your screen there for you. If you worry about the audio, just remember that the audio is recorded based on the setting that you select here. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and thank you for watching.